Hi everyone. In today's episode of Fire Trail, I just want to take a few minutes to discuss this new movement. Well, maybe not so new, but a movement that is just taking over a lot of young people lifestyle in their approach to finances, especially savings. Uh, it's the YOLO movement, the you only live once mentality. I think this lifestyle of YOLO is a counter to what they've seen in the decades past where my parents' generation, my grandparents' generation, they were heavy savers. They saved every dollar, every penny. I mean, they would literally, if they find a penny on the street, they would pick it up and save it. And that this is a counter to that. Instead of being heavy savers, they have become heavy spenders. And I just want to take a few minutes in today's video to discuss the dangers of the YOLO movement, especially for those who are young um, and early in their careers. Hi everyone, this is Xiao Yu. I recently retired and I am embarking on a journey where I share videos like this, trying to help others achieve financial independence and retire early. Okay, so let's get to it. The first danger in the YOLO movement is the financial risk. I think this is very clear. If you're somebody who's constantly indulging in luxurious purchases, I'm not just talking about buying a candy bar at the supermarket checkout aisle. If you want to buy a candy bar, then it's one or two dollars, fine, go at it. But I'm talking about people who see a brand new TV walking down the aisle and it's a thousand dollars and they say like, hey, you know what? My my TV is a, a year old, two years old, it's getting a little dusty. I need this new thousand dollar new screen TV that has a, the new pixels and the new all this stuff. And they just buy it without any consideration, without any hesitation. Or they see the new iPhone that just can't every year they come up with a new iPhone. They need the newest model and it's another thousand dollars or they need the latest and greatest new car that has newest feature even though their two-year-old car works just fine right i'm talking about these type of purchases and the financial risk that comes with these purchases the greatest example of the financial risk is the debt accumulation when you're just making monthly payments and you're saying, oh, it only cost me $30 a day or $5 a day, and you're thinking in that terms, you get easily lost in how much debt you are accumulating on a monthly basis. When you add up all those purchases, all those, you know, it cost me a day, a dollar here, $5 here, $6. Well, when you add up all those daily dollars, it can be five, six hundred dollars a month in additional payments, six hundred dollars a month in additional payments. That's seventy two hundred dollars a year, seven thousand two hundred dollars a year in additional expenses. Now, if you're if you're making the same income you did last year or, or you just got a two percent raise, that is not additional seven thousand dollars you can afford right if you don't have room in your budget so you're just accumulating debt and your debt snowball is getting bigger and bigger and bigger every year as you are financing these extravagant luxurious purchases number two the next risk is lack of financial planning when you are very impulsive and you just buying for the moment Hey, let's go on vacation. Let's go to New York City. Let's go to Disney World. How much? 5,000, 10,000? Okay, let's get on a plane. Everyone, let's go. We only live once. That type of mentality is so dangerous. It's because you leave no wriggle, wiggle room for future expenses. If you're spending every dollar today, you leave no room for future expenses. That will surely come. Here's an example, medical emergencies. You cannot expect 
for the rest of your life to, or the rest of your family's life, to not have a medical emergency. They will come and they will cost money. How about education expense? If you have children, do you want your kids after they gra graduate high school to go on to higher education, college, technical training, whatever that might be? That costs money. And if you're not properly planning for that, you're leaving your children vulnerable to student loans, student debt, and they're going to repeat the cycle. They're going to get into debt at a young age. And all they're going to know is more debt, more consumer debt to support themselves. So you're not going to be in position if you're spending all your money today to help support them in their future. And lastly, think about the financial plan for your own retirement. If you're living today and you're thinking today is all that there is, what if you actually live till you're 65 and your health does not allow you to continue to work at the same pace to sustain that lifestyle, right? It's one thing to YOLO when you're 20, 30, 40, but if you actually make it to 65 and you have no savings and you have to think about, well, what am I going to do from 65 onwards? The average lifespan for somebody in America, if they're male, it's about 75, 80 years old between that age range. That means how are you going to support yourself for 15, 20 years if you can't continue to sustain that type of work style, the uh, work intensity that got you to this point? right? Eventually, I always tell people, eventually, everyone has to retire, either by their own choice, hopefully all of us can choose when we want to retire, or by force, meaning you just can't do it anymore. And that is a horrible, horrible situation to be in. And you must plan accordingly to support yourself. Okay, and finally, the last risk to the YOLO lifestyle is the impact on responsibilities. And I discussed a little bit about this when it regards to your your children, right? Your financial responsibility to them then help them succeed in life. But the other financial responsibility is if you're married to your spouse, let's say you're 20, 30 years old, 40 years old, and you're just accumulating a bunch of credit card debt and you're saying, you know, I'll just make the minimum payments, the $100 a month, and I can go on a 5,000, 10,000 vacation. I'll just pay the $500 a month for my new luxury car, whatever it is. Hey, if I die, that'll all get canceled out, right? No, it does not. Your consumer debt, your credit card debt, your loans, all of that stuff gets passed on to your spouse. And if you are the breadwinner and majority of the income comes from you and that goes away because you die, you put your spouse who remains here in this life in the most vulnerable position because not only are they do they need to support themselves and your kids but now they have to support all that debt you accumulated without the benefit of your income now you may have life insurance that can take care of all that and i hope you do but i wonder how many people who are living the yolo lifestyle actually takes the time to think through their insurance needs. And even if you have insurance, do you really want the bulk of your insurance proceeds to pay off all these consumer debt? Wouldn't you rather have the life insurance proceeds to actually support the ongoing life of your family? All right. And, and to the last point of financial responsibilities, I'm a person of faith. That means the church family is very important to me. If you're YOLOing, how much money are you actually contributing on Sundays to the Lord's work? I think I, I, I emphasize this to a lot of Christians that the first thing we should be thinking about is giving back to God. That's, that's what I believe. That's what my faith teaches me, that the first fruits goes to God. If you're YOLOing, the first fruits actually go to yourself and you consume a lot of it. And by Sunday's time, you may only have five, ten dollars, twenty dollars to give to collection plate. Is that a really healthy way of, uh, you know, serving God and serving the future needs of your local congregation? That's something to think about for all of us. 
that's for today's video. I hope this uh, video was encouraging to you. You found some uh, you know, value in it. If you have, please subscribe to my channel, support this channel by liking it, leaving a comment. Again, this is Xiao Yu, and I wish you the best on your financial journey.